Okay, here we go. Next, uh, next to almost final steps. So, what we've done is um, I've gotten this piece, the the uh, sensing device, bolted to the saddle. Here's the saddle right here. Here's the uh, the little tab that I had to bolt to the bottom of this thing. Now, if you remember in the last video, I didn't indicated that there was a gap between the plate and the saddle. So I spanned that gap with a couple of pieces of uh, 1 8 uh, aluminum bar. And then uh, you'll see there's a gap in between there. And in between that gap, I've got two of these small washers just to take up that space so this thing uh, it's on here pretty solid nothing moves so now as the the table slides along this channel and pushed along by that by that worm gear uh, that's going to force the uh, rod, this sensing rod here, to slide through the sensing unit. And that's going to pick up the position of that unit and show that digital readout on the scale. So I haven't Loctited any of this down yet. What I'm going to do is trial fit this onto the mill and see how that goes. So here's the mill. As you see the all of the apparatus along the bottom, the X and Y axis is all removed. And that's what you saw on the table. So now what I have to do is uh, replace all that back on the unit, the base here, and see what my clearances are, making sure I'm not bumping into anything. I don't think I will, based on my initial review of what it is I was trying to do but you, you know you never know so best thing I can do is trial fit it just to make sure I'm okay let me turn the power off here I was using the the drill here to uh, drill the holes that I tapped uh, into the saddle to mount that tab for the sensing, sensing device so I use the drill, the uh, milling machine to drill these two holes that I use to mount this. So so far, let me sort of recap sort of things we've done. Um, we're using this piece of aluminum angle material to uh, basically protect the the DRO. This is the surface of the milling table. And there's the T-slots. So I mounted this bar right here. And I wanted, you know, so when I put this DRO on here, there would be some protection to that. So that simple plastic housing doesn't is not susceptible to, you know, direct impact by anything that happens to slip off or if I drop something. And I use one eighth material here because it's given a lot of more a lot more rigidity and stiffness. To this bar. The bar is, um, as you can see, it's not flush with the table. So if I've got any material on here that's wider, that's going to overlap a little bit, it won't be resting on this bar. It'll be, this bar will be below the table service. So that way, just another, you know, insurance, if you will, to try to keep any impact or weight off of this thing off of this bar. Like I said, one eighth material is pretty pretty hefty. It doesn't bend that easy, but of course, you know, this is aluminum. So that's all relative. But anyway, um so there's countersinks, holes and countersinks tapped and in, into the side of the milling table to mount this bar. So it's pretty pretty stiff. Um, See, I had to 
add a couple of washers there to keep this bracket above above the surface here only because if you look underneath there you'll see right there I can't point at it but there's a couple of uh, cap screws that mount this plate to the bottom of the sensor and those cap screws stick down a little bit so I had to add these washers to lift this surface up enough so that those cap screws wouldn't drag along the um, the surface here so that's the adjustment that I had to make yeah uh, why didn't I mount um, get thicker material or something to for this other uh, a second hole a second bolt into this somehow I didn't, didn't really think I needed that this seems to be rigid enough this thing isn't like a load bearing or anything all it's got to do is just basically hold pretty steady to uh, you know just absorb that lateral movement as this table slides and pushes this sensor along this track so I didn't need anything that was going to prevent this from you know that kind of load going that way because all the load is going you know in line with the uh, with the channel and the and the track so anyway I mean you know once I get this thing up and working I might find out that I want to change that but for now I think I'll be fine so next time you see this this thing is going to be mounted back onto the into the mill and I'll be checking out my clearances and so we'll come back and talk about that and see what that looks like alright Bye.